Today we're going to talk about how to use your calculator to um, find all this information about your quadratic functions. So everyone start by clearing your calculator. Second plus sign, number seven for reset, number one, and number two. Once your calculator is cleared, we're going to go ahead and put the quadratic equation into y equals. So press the y equals button and go ahead and type in the first equation, for example, 1 on your worksheet. x squared minus 4x minus 5. Now to graph, let's go ahead and start with zoom. And let's choose zoom 0 so you can scroll down until you see 0 or just press 0. That zoom fit. So select zoom fit and see what our graph looks like. You always want to make sure that you can clearly see the vertex of the graph. So since that vertex is, you know, I can't quite see the whole thing. Let's go to our window and I want to change my Y, <coughs> excuse me, my Y values to extend a little bit lower so I can see that vertex a little bit better. So go to your window, window button. And let's change our y minimum. Let's maybe change it to negative 15. Now press graph and see what we have. So that's better because I can definitely see the vertex of this graph. So the domain is the first thing we have to fill in on your worksheet. Domain, remember, is all of the x values that the graph covers. Well, remember that this parabola continues on in this direction forever and it continues on in this direction forever therefore the domain is going to be all real numbers so all real numbers are covered by the graph for x values the range are all the y values so to figure out what y values remember it's going to be from the smallest point up since this parabola opens up we need to first find the vertex so to find the vertex we know that in this parabola the vertex is a minimum so we're going to go to second trace or calculate and choose number three for a minimum press enter so your cursor is blinking right here and it says left bound so that cursor is to the left of the minimum point so i'm going to just press enter looks good now i have to move it to the right side of where i think the minimum is press enter again so you see you have these two arrows that popped up. You want to make sure that your vertex is in between those two arrows. For a guess, just go ahead and move your cursor to where you think the vertex is. Press Enter. And our vertex, 1.999, that rounds up to 2. So the vertex is 2 comma negative 9 would be the vertex. So now that I know that the y value for the vertex is negative 9, I know that my range is going to be everything greater than negative 9 on the y-axis. So to write the range, you would write y is greater than or equal to negative 9. Everything above since this parabola opens up. Axis of symmetry, remember, is just the x value of your vertex. So we would say x equals 2. In this case, it's the imaginary line that runs through the middle of the parabola. X-intercepts, remember, are these points where the graph crosses the y-axis. There's two of them. So to find them, I'm going to go to second, trace again. And this time, remember, we said x-intercepts are also called zeros. So I'm going to choose number two for zero. So left bound, I'm going to do this x-intercept first. So I'm going to go ahead and move my cursor to the left side of that intercept. Press Enter. And I'm going to move it to the right side. Press Enter. So your two arrows show up again in your Intercept should be between those two arrows. Make your guess. Press Enter. And our first x-intercept is negative 1, 0. To find the next one, do second trace again. Choose number 2. Left bound. I would make sure you're to the right of the other intercept. I don't know if it really matters. Press Enter. And then I'm going to go to the right side of the intercept. Press enter. So you see your two arrows. You want your intercept to be between them. Make a guess. And our other zero is 5. 
comma 0. It's our other x-intercept. Y-intercept, remember, you can just look at the equation. In this case, it's negative 5 because the y-intercept is always c. So 0, negative 5. All right, let's do example number 2. So go back to y equals. Clear your first equation. Let's put in the next equation. x squared plus 2x minus 3. So let's start with zoom fit, zoom zero, see how it looks. Again, I can already see my vertex isn't showing up quite that much. So let's go to the window and kind of lower our x, y minimum. I'm sorry, a little bit. So let's just do negative 10, make sure that we're low enough. And that looks good. So our domain, again, are all the x values. So since this continues, this side continues forever in that direction, and this side of the parabola continues forever, our domain is all real numbers. To find the range, I need to find the vertex. So let's do the vertex first, second, trace. It's a minimum, again, this vertex, because it was opening up. Go to the left side of the vertex. Go to the right side of the vertex, make a guess. Remember your vertex should be between the two arrows. Looks like our vertex for this one, again, negative 1.000, that's just negative one. So our vertex is negative one, negative four. So now we can say our range, all the y values, are gonna be everything from negative four on the y axis higher. So y is greater than or equal to negative four. Our axis of symmetry, remember, is always the x value, so negative one x-intercepts, second, trace, we want the zeros, so choose number two. Let's go to the left of the left intercept first, then go to the right. Again, you want to make sure it's between those arrows, then make a guess. Press enter, looks like our first x-intercept is negative three, zero. Go again, second trace, number two. Go to the left. Again, you want to be on the other side of that intercept we already found. Then go to the right of the second intercept. Make your guess. Our second intercept is 1, 0. Y intercept is negative 3. That's always just C, so 0, negative 3. Go ahead and finish examples 3, 4, and 5 on your own on your paper.